Nerd Dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 47 in our series NerdDice.com, where we build a tabletop role-playing management application using Ruby on Rails. And in our previous video, we updated our bundle to um, clear some Dependabot alerts that were um, just it happens, security vulnerabilities are found, um, and one of the things you do is you update your dependencies to a, a patched version of that. Uh, when I um, went to run my tests, like I was gonna run the tests, make sure they're passing and everything, and then update the bundle and then run the tests again. When I went to initially run the tests, um, the test failed because the version of uh, Chrome driver or, or, or of Chrome that I have installed on my system had been updated to beyond a version that was recognized by the um, the web drivers gem. Uh, and then when I updated my bundle, we got a and I'll um, I'll actually before we do that I'll I'll show the clip from the last video where the error occurred there when I was trying to um, run the test so you, you can kind of see the problem. Make sure my existing suite hasn't magically broken in the intervening time since the last time I ran it. Oh, and it has. Chrome driver. All right, we're back. Uh, and let us get to the issue now. So this, when I updated, this is the um, post install message that I got is that Selenium itself, itself now manages drivers by default um, and restrict your web drive, driver to um, to stop seeing this message. So uh, the main and the seven zero stable version of Rails have both removed web drivers from their um, Uh, template version of the gem file. So I think yeah, I'm trying to fix it. gem file. Oh, the, the, it was like Rails' gem file itself and the um, the gem file template, which is right here, uh, we're both uh, got rid of web drivers. So I'm going to attempt to get rid of web drivers on my um, in my application um, and see what happens here. So we will check out a new branch. Which C I'll just call the branch that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my gem file. Remove that. And I'm gonna take a look at my so gem drive web drivers is gone there. And then um, that was blocking Selenium WebDriver to version 
lower than 4.11. So the next thing I need to do, you can see Selenium web driver has to be greater than, than or equal to 4.11. So we'll do another bundle update. Hopefully nothing else weird happened that will break anything. Oh, we've got RuboCop. We'll see how things go. Run Rails test all. and allow this to finish. All right, so my tests are all green. And then we will run RuboCop. Hopefully we don't have any newly no offenses for RuboCop is good so it's just our gem file and our gem file dot lock it looks like we we're able to we review our diff our B got updated Mini test got updated. Postgres, RDoc, Psych, RuboCop, RuboCop mini test, Selenium web driver, sprockets, and then web drivers is gone. So I think we're looking good there. We will add. I will write my commit message. All right, I've got my commit message here. Close the editor. Push to my branch. to add the milestone for this and then open a pull request matches what I wanted create it Wait for my build to complete. Be back in a moment. All right, well, our build has passed. We'll merge the pull request from the command line here. this it should look all right should have done the Here. 
the other thing we've got is um, that is not my set of actions. So this was fairly easy. Um, we're not going to wait around for the the build to complete on main. Uh, this uh, was we we're just able to remove the gem, update the bundle. Nothing broke when we updated the bundle. Everything all worked and it wound up being a fairly brief and straightforward video. We'll see you in the next one where we'll try to start doing some entity diagramming for our application. Ruby on Rails 7 is out. Code along on a guided journey through the Rails 7 Getting Started Guide and beyond with test-driven development. There has never been a better time to learn Ruby on Rails. Hit the ground running with the newest version. Go to statelesscode.com slash getting started with Rails 7 to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.